Welcome to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, which I am almost certainly going to mispronounce again as Pathfinder Wrath of the Kingmaker or something similar. But yeah, so I didn't complete this game when I uh, recorded it the last time. Uh, circumstances denied me from doing so. Uh, I have been playing the game a little bit off and on, maybe more than a little bit lately, and uh, kind of rekindled my love for the game. Uh, I am in uh, the uh, fifth act of the game on my other character, who is an uh, oracle level 20, angel level 8 or 9, I do not remember off the top of my head. But I figured that I should also probably record the game, because uh, as I've played the game I have come to understand that the story is uh, a lot better than what I first thought it was. Now, there is one thing that I would like to mention, just as um, prior to starting the game thing. Uh, I am not a huge fan of the crusade mechanics in the game, so I do have mods installed with Toybox, and I will be shamelessly cheating in armies so that I don't have to worry about the crusade mechanics because ugh, it, I really don't like that. So that is my personal little preference. Other than that, um, as you can see, I'm also using the uh, Allow Modded Achievement Mods, which probably strictly is necessary because it is inside Joybox. You can uh, go into Bag of Tricks, and uh, there's a lot of things you can do here. Uh, but you can also take this Allow Achievements while using mods. So. Let's just jump right into a new game. Uh, I have not bought the Inevitable Excess uh, DLC. Um, kind of feel it makes sense to finish the game first, since this seems to be after the... Uh, um, or rather, at the, at the very uh, end of the campaign, since it says import your character from the main campaign just before the moment of their greatest triumph, which seems to me to be at the end of the... Uh, the main campaign. Now, difficulty-wise, um, I'm going to play somewhere between here. Uh, I have no desire to play on these, uh, and also the dead companions and remove negative effects on rest. I primarily want to have fun, and I find it annoying to have to spend, not that money is very much a problem late game, but uh, early game it will be a problem. So these are the default settings for normal. If I go to casual, you can see that it adjusts down, damage to party 2.4. It doesn't enable dead companions rise after combat, but it does remove the neg negative effects on rest. It also sets the enemy stats adjustments to much weaker enemies. Uh, what I'm going to do is go to normal. I'm going to do auto level up off because I'm, I want to level up my companions myself. I'm going to turn on these. Enemy stat adjustments, uh, I'm going to leave them at moderately weaker enemies, and I'm going to put damage to party at 0.6, which is a decent threshold between these. Weather effects, we'll keep that on light. We are going to enable character retraining. Uh, crusade management difficulty, I'll keep that at story because I'm not sure what it does on the other ones, but I assume that the armies that spawn. I could have turned on Crusade Auto Mode, but if you turn on Crusade Auto Mode, there are certain items and certain things that you cannot do, which I prefer to do. Uh, these I'm not going to have on. Immersive Mode. I prefer seeing those things, so we'll leave those things on as well. And also there is one mod that I'd probably want to install, which is the, um, the Visual Effects mod. Uh, does something to uh, make the game look prettier. Uh, but as this is just the introduction episode, uh, where I don't intend to actually play, I'm just going to uh, to make the character and then we'll go through the, uh, the intro video and introduction part of the game. And then episode one will be the actual, um, where we start playing the game in the rift underneath the city of Canabras. Uh, so we are going to go with a custom character. Uh, we are going to find a custom portrait. Uh, C. 
cause the drive. And yes, I am going to play as a lich. So I'm going to use this one. Um, which means I'm going to play evil. Not everyone will appreciate that, but um, the evil choices you make in the game aren't really as evil as they're just straight out dumb. Um, so I'm going to try to stick to um, being lawful, uh, since also I want to become a lich. And as a lich you want to be lawful evil. Not a necessity, but I I want to be lawful. Um, now there is one thing in the game when it comes to alignments, which is kind of weird. Um, when I was playing my lawful good oracle angel, if I took too many good choices, it pushed me into neutral good because it kind of pushes you weirdly around on the alignment scale. So I'm going to have to pick some evil choices here and there. Hopefully not the dumb ones. And But there's also an option in here. Uh, let me see if I can find that option. Yeah, I'm going to take that one on because the tutorials appear anyways. Icky stuff be gone. Some players find spiders and other swarms icky. This replaces them with something I like that doesn't specify what it replaces them with. I dearly hope it's not like the satisfactory arachnophobia mode and then suddenly you get kittens worms. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to finish that. But, uh, where was that? Because there is a there is a, an option here that makes the uh, alignment choice here fix alignment shifts makes alignment shifts towards pure good slash evil slash lawful slash chaotic only shift on those axes. So I might actually play with this enabled because that will allow me to focus on being lawful. Well, I'm obviously going to be evil. Uh, Bitches are not known for their um, kindness and goodness and so forth. But yeah, so I'll probably... Just probably, I will play with that one on and I will play with that one on. Toybox is really a, a great mod. There's a lot of things you can do here. Uh, I tried to do my build in Toybox before I uh, started this recording. But if you go here and you click on unlock any of these mythic paths... Um, Toybox just crashes because there is currently a bug uh, which the author is trying to fix. Save and close. I'm going to play as a Sylvan Sorcerer, which might come as a surprise to some people who know me, but uh, the Sylvan Sorcerer is a rather nice uh, sorcerer build. Uh, the Lich primarily uh, focuses on using um, Charisma as their stat, and the constitution is going to be more or less irrelevant when you become a lich, uh, because it disappears. It's no longer a stat you have. Uh, but the thing with the Sylvan Sorcerer is that as a sorcerer you're kind of a glass cannon, uh, and you're also not very useful uh, in the beginning of the game. Uh, but the Sylvan Sorcerer gives you an animal companion, and that animal companion levels up all the way together with you, uh, up to level 20. And there's also the uh, Mythic Feet, uh, Mythic, Mythical Beast, which will uh, additionally uh, make it even more interesting. So we'll go with that one. Uh, also, probably to many people's surprises, I was considering going dump here. I mean, uh, negative energy affinity. Uh, all of these things are basically things you get. Um, well, I don't know if you get the resist level drain as a lich, but I do know that you get negative energy affinity, uh, undead resistance. I think liches are basically immune towards disease and mind affecting effects, so this one is kind of redundant, but it would be more in line with what I'm playing. However, uh, as a dampier, uh, you have these uh, bloodlines here, 
And the one that would make most sense would be either Moroiborn uh, or... Uh, or Rushi, I think. Uh, because I'm also wanting to have a little bit of... Uh, of uh, intelligence on this character. However, as you can see, it has a penalty to constitution and this one has a penalty to dexterity. I do not want those penalties. So instead, I'm going to go with Arsimar. I could go human. Uh, gives you plus two to one ability score. But the Arsimars like the Arsimar. And there's the uh, Emberkin here. What does the human give you? Gain an additional skill rank at first level. Ah, uh, the racial heritage here. Okay, let's go. Let's go with human. I was thinking Azimar, getting uh, plus two intelligence and uh, and charisma with also plus two racial bonus, but I think the uh, additional skill and the additional feat is actually going to be quite useful. Uh, for our background, um, kind of feel that pickpocket is a better one. Uh, yes, we're going to go with uh, pickpocket. Uh, we gain trickery and stealth, the list of the class skills, and also a plus two bonus on initiative rolls. I've also adjusted the pause screen because I'm not going to be recording every time I level up stuff. Uh, so the pause screen is currently like this. So it's much quicker than the usual pause screen that I use. As for my abilities, let's see, I want... Uh, I want this at 19. Uh, 14. 18. Ten constitution is going to be rough. Quite rough, actually. I could go down on wisdom. To go up there. But I really don't like going low. It's not a major thing here. Minus one to law, nature, or religion, uh, perception. But does it affect the saving throw? It does. It affects the will saving throw, which is bad. Although, I'm not playing on core or unfair, so... 8.7 versus hit points 8. Hold on, I just need to check something really quick, so you'll see the pause screen again. There we go. I am actually going to dump a little bit of wisdom, and I'm going to adjust dexterity to 12. And intelligence. How does that give me skills? I have four skills that I can uh, deal with here. I do want Knowledge Arcana, I do want Persuasion. Musmatic Device is definitely uh, nifty to have. Yeah, I think we're going to go with Trickery and Musmatic Device. So Trickery, Knowledge Arcana, Persuasion and Musmatic Device. Raw Nature, Raw Religion would be useful, but... Can't really be a back of train. Uh, if I remove, it doesn't seem to affect my skill points, but I'm not sure. If I take that down, do like this. I still get. Now I know I get three skill points. <laughs> uh, 
I think I'm going to go with it like this. Next, for our first feat, we are going to take martial weapon proficiency. Probably it's a little bit of a price. And for spell focus, we are going to go with spell focus conjuration. And then we're going to go with the greater spell focus conjuration. As for our animal companion, we are going to go with. Um, okay, we want a companion that has trip. So six armor class and 1d6 plus trip. Could have leopard. Wolf is nice. I think we'll just take a little nice dog. You want to have grease because that is very important. And I also think we want to have a magic weapon. I might respec my character later on uh, to change out some of these spells that I have here. As for our deity, it is a given that we are going to have Urgothoa as our deity. Sorry that the music disappeared there. The unity thing. I mean, she's the uh, mostly worshipped by dark necromancers, the undead, and those wishing to become undead, so. Alignment, lawful evil. As for our appearance, um, I need to go all the way back here and do this. And then go back here. Um... It doesn't really matter if I look a little bit pale. I want to be rather thin. Uh, dark eyes. Hairstyle. Yeah, just short here. Looks good. Some beard does make sense. Maybe like that. It's a little bit too dark. No war paint. Uh, as for our clothes, let's make them black. Um, how did that untick that? Oh, because I was on the wrong color scheme. Is there some purple here somewhere? Yeah, that looks good. Their life ends here! And I think we actually are going to go with a confident voice. As for the name, um I guess we'll be Paladorn, but um This guy is kind of evil. So, just do some random month of birth. This will hurt. Wait. I'm always ready. A solid plan. This will hurt. Someone else would make better use of this. We will be victorious. Now I'm going to go with a pragmatic Calm down. instead. Not dead yet. So, this is what we start out with. Feel free to uh, pause the recording if you're interested in this. And now let's click complete. Which will send us into the actual game. Somebody! 
We got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? I can say that I need to adjust some of the uh, sound levels. But that's fine for now. My, my, would you look at this? But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't he be carted off somewhere else like, oh, I don't know, an infirmary <clears throat> or an accommodating ditch? Ah, oh, Darren. I love Darren. Make room, everyone. Step back. Now, what's the matter? What happened to him? Hmm. The wound looks nasty. Who did this to him? Demons, prelate. We found him barely alive outside the walls of Canabris. The walls, you say? Enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. And you, hold fast. Don't die. We'll see you right. We'll get you patched up now. But first, you there, guard. Take his weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. Wounded or not, everyone must abide by the rules. He can get his things back after the festival. <laughs> oh, Inheritor, leader of our troops, the sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. Iomade, I beseech you, grant your mercy. Heal his wounds. I won't give up that easily. Here, here. That's the Crusader spirit. Oh, yes. My powers are not enough here. Someone call for Terendalev. You there. Yes, you. Stop dithering and gawping and make yourself useful. Go and get Terendalev. Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. I'll get her. Terendalev. Has anyone seen Terendalev? Be quick about it before it's too late. Now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before, and I have an excellent memory for faces. I am a crusader. I came to fight demons. Oh, Iomade saved me from green recruits. They come without planning, without preparation, and they die before they even see their first real battle. I don't know whether to laugh or cry at the utter waste of it all. Indeed. My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor man. He has been through enough already. Go on, I'll take care of him. <clears throat> All right, as you wish. You are our protector, and a dragon at that. So I shall defer to your wisdom, but be on your guard. I've been informed he was wounded near Canabras. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls, and the city is crawling with their spies. Others may be able to relax on this holiday, but not you or I. Not the defenders of this city. Pry loose the grudging grip of pain. Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. Let light and life go forth in triumph to repel the skulking shade of death. There. Thank you for helping me. I accept your thanks. But my work is not yet done. What happened to me? I do not know yet. And that troubles me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury, and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have rid you of your pain and restored your strength. But only time will allow you to heal fully. Who are you? My name is Terendalev. I am the protector of the city. Are you really a dragon? You don't believe me? Perhaps I should retake my true form and engulf this square with my ice breath to win your trust. <laughs> Pay no mind to my current guise. I appear this way when I walk among the people. I would hamper the festivities if I tried to attend in my true form. I can believe that. Uh, can I go? Certainly. But be careful. I have managed to get you back on your feet. But I have not healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. But do not be discouraged. You will recover, I promise you that. Tomorrow, come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendalev, protector of Canabras. We will find a way to help you. 
But for now, put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They are all too rare in this time of war, and merriment is one of the best medicines. I admire her for her optimism. Uh, so we need to go sample the, uh, the drink. And we already have our little uh, wolf, uh, or, no, dog here. Uh, let me just quickly level him up. Uh, I think I want him to be a bully, because that gives us trip and bull rush. Another option would have been... No, we definitely want him to be a bully. Uh, we're going to take athletics and perception as the skills, and we'll just keep uh, pushing those up. As of the first feat, we are going to take Fury's Fall. Uh, you can use strength and agility to send foes crashing to the ground. Uh, when you make a trip attack, you add the dexterity bonus to your um, combat maneuver bonus, which is a combination of base attack bonus plus strength modifier plus special size modifier, and now also plus dexterity modifier. Uh, birthday, irrelevant. Um, no idea what to call this thing, um, but since I tend to uh, uh, use Patreons as naming, uh, I suppose this could be uh, a peps. However, uh, I'm going to do Caladorn in a parenthesis because it is kind of difficult to recognize which animal companion belongs to what party member if you don't have that uh, denominated somewhere. Here, Sila, Janna, and Curl. Eat them again later. Ramian. I wonder how many of the. Uh... Who is Ravashnian? I seem to recall that name as well. Is it a Nevia or a Nevia? Socio. There's one of the strangers as well. That is amusing. I mean, the, the absence of an answer is an answer to and probably just disappear. Orgus Worm. Melia. There's Ember. The stranger did indeed just disappear. What is going on here? Ah, the, the weapons. Okay, we need to do one more thing, so let's go uh, hit this uh, training dummy here. Let the 
the feast begin. Discari's here. Discari himself. Blimey! One minute we had a dragon, the next, bam, she was gone. What are you gonna do? Fight or flee? If flee is your plan, let me help you out. I've got a scroll here with a good protective spell. I've seen you somewhere before. Yeah, you have. You owe me your life. I'm the one who found you outside the walls and brought you inside to be healed. I see they patched you up. Good thing they did it before the attack, or else you'd have been done for. Mr. Discari? You must have got a good drumming around the head, brother. Discari's a demon lord, the most fearsome enemy of all crusaders and all living things, come to think of it. What's the situation in the city? Who knows? Everything's on fire, crashing down around our ears. The place is crawling with demons. Looks like a whole army attacked the city. We're sitting ducks! Here to lend me a weapon. I'll try to fight the demons. Sure thing. Here, take this. Best crossbow I've got. The person who made it said it could pierce the hide of a demon lord even. Good luck! Try not to get eaten now! A mortal gnat snaps its jaws at the Lord of Locusts. Behold, Iomane. Behold the death I saw. Silver Dragon, Terendalev, the defender of Canabras, fell in battle. Hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. He willed the land to part and swallow all who dared to stand in his way. But the war was still far from over. And this is where we will end this episode, and uh, in the next episode we will actually start the story itself. Now, this is going to be a long, long <laughs> Let's Play series. Um, at least if I finish it. Uh, I'm, I, I don't have a good reputation for finishing my Let's Play series from the beginning to the end, but I have all intentions of doing so with this one. Uh, however, they're, based on what I have played so far, I know that things are going to take time. I'm also going to use the turn-based mode uh, for combats. Uh, might turn it off sometimes, because sometimes it's just redundant. But that also will add a lot of um, time to the actual recordings. I will try to keep the episodes at between 35 and 45 minutes. And I will also have some episodes that will contain purely dialogue. Um, I know there's places where I'm going to have to read out dialogue. Um, if you don't want me to do that, then please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I will repeat this in episode number one as well, uh, because um, I can just keep the dialogue open for a couple of seconds before making my choice and people can read it to themselves. But as with most of my Let's Play series, I like to have uh, Let's Play series that are relaxing so that people can watch them to wind down, uh, maybe even go to sleep. And uh, I've gotten feedback that my voice is actually uh, calming for people. So and that's also why I decided not to stream this, because I didn't want to have stream alerts being annoying. Uh, to people who might want to use uh, the Let's Play series as that. So, that is the reason for that. But anyways, I will um, start the actual play in the next episode, so uh, thank you all so much for uh, joining me. If you have any questions and or comments, then please do feel free to leave those in the comment sections, and I hope to see you all in the actual 
episode one of the series where we start the storyline itself.